I wish you could smell the house right now. It smells insane in here. Just get in my mouth. That's how I feel about it. Aprons on. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's already six o'clock. Earlier today, I shopped my freezer and I pulled out a bag of wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon, boneless skin on salmon. I just had it in this nine by 13 uh, inch pan with some cold water. They're all thawed out now. I need to grab my seasonings, Italian seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. We'll also need brown sugar, garlic cloves, and butter or olive oil. Have your oven preheated to 375 degrees. Line your baking sheet with some aluminum foil, just like this. I'm just gonna take the salmon out of their casing and place it on here. So as you can see, I still have dishes and goblets to put away from prom dinner. Today is Monday, Saturday night. Boston had his prom dinner here with five couples. Yesterday, I was wiped out from it all, and so I still have all this to put away, like back in the boxes. Yes, you've got lingerie. No ice cream, I'm making dinner. That looks good. I'm actually gonna bring in the salmon a little bit tighter so I can create like a boat. There we go. I just washed my hands with orchid vanilla. I kept saying orchard when I bought it in the Costco video. I can see that it says orchid, but my brain literally says orchard. Salmon is on the baking sheet, so let's mix up all those spices. Okay, we're gonna need one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, paprika, garlic powder, three fourths teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna do an eighth a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Just mix this together. I need three tablespoons of melted butter. Let's get this in the microwave. Mince up a couple of cloves of garlic. Add that to your melted butter. Oh, yum. We're gonna brush half of this over the salmon. Now you can also do this with olive oil instead of butter, but ooh, butter, yum. Now take your seasoning mixture and we're gonna sprinkle the salmon with it. And then just drizzle the leftover butter that you have over the salmon. And at this point, you'll pop it in your oven, but I'm gonna hold off on doing that because I wanna start my rice peel off because that is gonna take about 15, 20 minutes for that rice to cook up, same time that we need to cook up this fish. So let's start on the rice peel off. I need two cups of white rice, I'm using jasmine, and I am just gonna put it in the strainer and then rinse off the rice. One, two. I am dicing up some celery and some onion. I don't measure this. If I had fresh mushroom right now, I'd use that, but I didn't grab any mushroom today. So I usually do mushrooms in this as well, but I just like to have a little something in my rice pilaf. I'm telling you, add some mushroom, add some celery, even green peppers. It makes a big difference. I am doubling this rice pilaf because my kids love it so much. The last time I made this, I even think I shared it on a video with you guys. I didn't double it and they were sad. Very sad. Yes, they were. To this, I'm gonna mince a clove of garlic. Heat up your pan and we're gonna add, since I'm doubling this, a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of shortening. Melt this down and I need some orzo. All right, I am definitely gonna need more than this. This is not going to be enough orzo. So I'm gonna put my burner on low and I'm gonna go shop my shelves in my food storage room. Voila. There we go. I'm gonna need a cup of orzo. If you're new here, I share how to grow an extended pantry. That way you can shop your shelves instead of running out to the store. We buy things for our shelves when they're on sale. 
We keep an eye on the price. We try not to pay full price for anything, especially if you're putting it on your shelves. That way when you need it, you're gonna shop your shelves where you got it at a discount, a low price, instead of running out and paying full price, inflation prices and all that. So I need a cup of this. All right, we're gonna go brown this up in our pan. So your butter was nice and melted and then add your cup of orzo. You're gonna keep a close eye on this. This will brown up quick. You're just getting it toasty, nice and light brown. While it's starting to do that, I'm gonna hurry and open my cans of chicken broth. I'm gonna need four and a half cups because if it's starting to brown up really fast, you're gonna to wanna to hit it with your chicken broth to stop that cooking process. Stir it periodically. Oh, it's starting to brown up. It looks really pretty. Now that I got it to the color that I want, I wanna cook, slow down that cooking process and hit it with my four and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm gonna add in my veggies and then I'm gonna hit it with my rice. You can salt and pepper it if you want. Easy with the salt because depending on the chicken stock or broth you used, you might be okay. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then bring it to a low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. And I'll get that salmon in the oven. Time to clean up. All right, I'm gonna finish loading up the dishwasher, everything that's here. What's really cool about our front door and this big window here is that there's this layer of something, um, this dark like film over it where it can block like a lot of the UV rays. We get a ton of sun in here, but if you're outside on the road or standing like right in front in the front yard, you can't see in until nighttime. So I never have to worry about like the neighbors seeing my cameras up and the lights on and wondering what's going on until it's nighttime. <laughs> I have five minutes left on the timer, so I'm gonna steam up some broccoli florets. I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of water to it, and then I have this vegetable seasoning. I'm gonna sprinkle this on, cover it, and pop it in the microwave for five minutes. I'm gonna let this sit here for five minutes. My broccoli is done. Now I'm fluffing up my pilaf. I wish you could smell the house right now. It smells insane in here. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna hurry and make a fruit salad. I washed up a lot of fruit this week. So I'm gonna add strawberries. It's nice, they're all washed up, so I can hurry and make this. And I'm saving these tops, because I'm going to freeze dry them to make strawberry powder for like strawberry milk and stuff. I have these gorgeous grapes. I'm just gonna slice them in half. I have blueberries, yum. Um, then Derek and I ran out the other night and I picked up like four of these. These are so delicious, dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative. I'm gonna add that in. Give this a mix. How fast and easy was that? Yum. Voila, dinner. Can't wait to eat. So we have the gorgeous salmon. I'm gonna put mine on top of some rice pilaf. Mm -mm. Then we have our seasoned steamed broccoli and our fruit salad.
You wanna know like one of my favorite things about Derek is him helping me put dinner away. I end up like after I sit down and eat, I get tired, I get burnt out, and sometimes I just don't have the energy to do anything, uh, even my night routine. And he's truly amazing. I, I don't even have to ask him. He just goes and puts dinner away. Oh, I'm so thankful for that. So thank you, Mr. Toodles. Mm. Sneak anymore in here? Uh, I do have a container for the pila. I'm so sleepy. So Derek and I need something new to binge watch. So we need some suggestions. We've already watched every season of The Traders: American, Australia, New UK, Zealand. New Zealand, Canada. Canada. I, we watched them all. I could not sleep. I had to keep watching. We needed something else to binge watch, and he introduced me to Resident Alien. Oh my gosh. Some parts are a little naughty. Hilarious. We just finished that. All right, Pat. You missed one. They didn't drink it all. We got some red grape. How many bottles did you buy? Six, so they found five. Oh, okay, five. If you would have found that, they would have drank it. Oh, no kidding. But ten people, that's, that's a lot. Leave some suggestions down below. I am waiting patiently for Outlander to start back up. And I got Mr. Toodles into Outlander. But the last couple seasons sucked. All these plates and goblets, they're gonna stay here till tomorrow. I'm, I'm done. Let's take some more I know. I'm done. <laughs> Still finding glitter from a couple of the girls' dresses from prom. And I washed the floor Saturday night too after they left. But it's tracking in everywhere. Now just because we cleaned up and like we're tired and ready to go to bed, it doesn't mean I didn't forget about dessert. follow me on Instagram. I had a story last week that said I'm addicted to Handel's ice cream, especially the Grand Essential Station one. It's Graham. Oh, Graham Central Station. Whatever. Just get in my mouth. That's how I feel about it. It is so good. It is Graham cracker ice cream with um, chocolate. Yeah, chocolate, like crunchy things. I'm addicted. I had it for breakfast last week. I even said that in my Instagram story. Wasn't lying. It's just so good. Mmm. I thought I was gonna be too sweet. I just didn't think I was gonna like it. No. I'm in love with this ice cream. Yeah, mm. Now you have a new lover. Yes, I do have a new lover. Move over. Yes, I got a quart. This is the pint. This is a tease. So they had these screens and they show their ice cream and they had a video going and it was with of the Buckeye ice cream. And so I looked up at the ingredients and I was like, oh yeah, this is for me. So it's peanut butter ice cream with like a fudge swirl and chocolate Buckeyes in it. If you love peanut butter, you're gonna love this one. Mm. Is this gonna be the new trend of eating at the end of your videos? <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you guys have a handles near you? They've been popping up around here in Utah lately. And then what was the other one? He went to get me the gram a couple of weeks ago. It's a... But it was cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon gram. Cinnamon gram something. Yeah, and it has like brown sugar, cinnamon, and the grams in it. But it, it was a happy mistake. At first I was like, oh man. But then it was delicious. <laughs> I'll be disappointed. Mm. 
Does Mr. Toodles want some? Uh, uh, Good. Yeah, the coconut one. And Rocky Road. You know what I hear in my head every time I hear Rocky Road? Rocky Road. Rocky Road. All right, friends. I'm gonna go put my feet up. I might even get in a hot shower. Taking off this apron, I'm gonna go relax. If you'd love to see more cooking videos, more recipes, click on these videos here, and I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you soon. Toodles. Mm. Toodles. I don't see this as a problem.